Hi friends, first of all I would like to thank you for the massive response you gave to my previous video on option elimination technique. As I had told you that if you need more such videos and if I get those comments in my video, I'll be coming out with more such techniques in the future. And these techniques are the techniques which I have applied in my paper in the previous attempts and I have got good results. You can see out here that I have got one of the highest marks in the prelims examination. So today I am going to share another technique and I can tell you right now that those techniques already you might be knowing it but you might not be knowing the trap which is there in that technique. And if you do not know the trap and you start applying those techniques then you might end up losing marks. So let us begin the technique and then we will see the trap also which is there in that technique. So what is that technique? That technique is called look for the extreme words and eliminate those extreme words. Okay. So in UPSC, whatever I have generally observed that the examination paper setter okay, uses the extreme word in the sentences deliberately to frame incorrect statement. To frame incorrect statement. And what are these extreme words? These extreme words, I have made a list of all these extreme words in the last 10 years and these extreme words are all, none, any, no, always, never, only, first, last, largest, smallest, cannot and there is one more word which UPSC has used and that word is called mandatory mandatory or compulsory or compulsory okay so whenever you come across these words in any statement in the UPSC question paper you must be cautious because generally these words are used in to frame incorrect statement in the UPSC question paper okay let us see with examples let us see with examples I will demonstrate for every extreme word I have picked one one example from the last 10 years paper and we'll see the trap also we will see the trap also okay so let us see let us read this question okay let us read this question this question is on Asian infrastructure investment bank okay the statements reads as as below Asian in infrastructure investment bank okay has more than 80 member okay next statement says that India is the largest shareholder of Asian infrastructure bank and the third statement says that AIIB does not have any member from the outside India. Let us go back. Let us go back to those extreme words. Let us go back to those extreme words. What can we see? We see that here they are using one extreme word. Okay, which we have given you in the list of extreme words which are generally incorrect in the UPSC. So that extreme word is any. And the next extreme word is the word called largest. So here we see, here we see that in this question, they are using both the largest extreme word and they are using any. So these two statements will be incorrect because they are using these extreme words and generally in the UPSC examination, whenever they use these extreme words they are incorrect but there are some traps there are some places where these words can also be correct i'll come out with those examples at the end of this video at the end of the video please wait for that okay so i hope so what we can do is we can eliminate statement two we can eliminate statement two and we can also eliminate statement three so we will be left with only option a which is the correct answer let us read the second question let us read the second question this is on Petroleum and Natural Gas Regulatory Board. Okay, so it says that PNGRB is the first regulatory body to be set up by the government of India. The second statement says that one of the tasks of the PNGRB is to ensure competitive market for the gas. And the third statement reads as appeal against the decisions of PNGRB go before the appellate tribunal for electricity. So we might not know about statement 2, we might not have read about statement 3, but here we see that since it uses an extreme word called first, okay, we go back again, again if we go back, okay, we see that 
we see that this is in the list of our extreme words. This is in the list of our extreme words. So we can eliminate this option. So once we eliminate statement one, once we eliminate statement one, once we eliminate statement one, we will be only left with option B, which is two and three only. Just you imagine if UPSC had to really test your knowledge, not the skill, the skill of option elimination, then they could have framed this options in a particular manner that you could not have applied this option elimination trick. But the UPSC is not much concerned about your knowledge part. UPSC is more concerned about your common sense, about your option elimination technique. You can see from this question only. Just because, just because they have used one radical sentence here or one extreme sentence here, they are giving us the options in such a manner that if an intelligence aspirant has the ability to find out that this statement is incorrect then he can easily eliminate the options and he can come to the conclusion of the right answer okay how many of you think this is really great this is really great please comment in the comment box yes sir it is really great okay let us go to the next question let us go to the next one read this next question this question is a recent question which came in the year 2021 i guess or 2022 this is with reference to the blockchain technology consider the following statements here also you see there is a statement which is basically you see here statement 2 the structure and the design of the blockchain is such that all the data in it are about cryptocurrency only cryptocurrency only so here again we here again if we go back and if we see the list if we see the list of our extreme word we have only we have only in our extreme words list and we see in this question also in this question also they are using this word only so we can eliminate statement 2 if we eliminate statement 2 we'll be left with option a and we will left with option d okay we left with option a and we left with option d Okay, let us see, let us read these two statements, let us see can we answer this question or not. So we can see here it is a public ledger that everyone can inspect but with no single user control. And the third statement says that applications that depend on the basic features of blockchain can be developed without anybody's permission. Okay, we all know that blockchain is about decentralized system. In a decentralized system, we don't need a single control. We don't need a single control. Okay, so therefore statement 3 is correct. And once statement 3 is correct, we can safely assume that option D is the correct answer. Let us go to the next question. Let us see the next question. Let us read this question. This question is about the coal sector. This year also coal sector is very important because of the coal shortage which is there in our country. Okay, let us see this question. Coal sector was nationalized by the government of India under Indira Gandhi. Okay. Second statement says now coal blocks are allocated on lottery basis. The third statement reads that till recently India imported coal to meet the shortage of the domestic supply. But now India is self-sufficient in coal production. Okay. If I translate, if I translate this statement, I can, is, this statement basically says that India does not, India does not, okay, does not import any coal, any coal, okay, so again you see any, okay, this means basically India does not import any coal, India is self-sufficient in coal, so obviously it's a very extreme statement to make and if you have read little bit of geography also, you must be knowing that India imports coking coal because we do not have coking coal in India and coking coal is used in smelting process of iron so coking coal we import from outside so india is not self-sufficient in coal okay so this statement can be eliminated because an extreme statement to make that india is self-sufficient in coal and we do not import a single amount of coal okay so this can be eliminated this eliminated this eliminated this eliminated you see directly you can get answer just imagine just imagine we are not concerned about this statement too you should not be concerned about statement too what generally happens inside the examination hall i'll tell you the psychology 
generally the average aspirant who is not aware of these optional elimination technique what would happen to him is that when he reads the statement one okay obviously this is a very factual statement one okay that the coal was nationalized under which prime minister okay this is a very factual one generally uh, the beginners the beginners would not be knowing it generally the beginners the first attempters would not be knowing it you see statement two again very tough even i believe the veterans might not be knowing this but if you have gone through my techniques if you have ingrained these techniques if you have imbibed these techniques if you have practiced these techniques my friends let us let us see if we apply this technique without knowing statement two without knowing statement one we can easily assume that the answer is a and the uh, guys the answer is a you see so easy so easy is this uh, way of answering questions so easy okay let us go to the next question let us see this this says with reference to the indian desert national park which of the following statements are correct it spreads over two districts we don't know second statements there is no human habitation there is no human habitation very extreme word to make no human habitation okay very extreme word no, no. if you remember if you remember the first slide in that slide i have included no also as one of those extreme words my friend so we eliminate statement 2 we eliminate statement 2 and we eliminate this so we can easily assume that the answer is 1 and 3 only let us go to the next question you see here it is about coffee and tea cultivation it is about coffee and tea cultivation you see you read this statement coffee plant requires a hot and humid climate of the tropical area whereas tea can be grown in tropical and subtropical areas the second statement says that coffee is propagated by seeds but tea is propagated by stem cuttings only you see again only again only so we can eliminate statement 2 we can eliminate statement 2 once we eliminate statement 2 we eliminate two options we eliminate two options we are left with option a and option d and if we have little bit of knowledge also we know that tea is cultivated in india in the northeastern areas also and northeastern areas fall in subtropical region so statement one is also correct so as you see just option elimination might not help you in every question but option elimination plays a very important role if you have option elimination and if you have knowledge you become a he-man in the examination hall you become a shakti man inside the examination hall so what you need you need knowledge also you need knowledge i don't say that without knowledge i was able to score 145 146 marks obviously knowledge played an important role but many had knowledge but they could not score like me because they did not know exactly these techniques of option elimination techniques only with option elimination techniques you can score very high inside the examination hall okay my friend let us go to the next question let us go to the next question you see this question here also if you read this question on campa you will see here the word is mandatory here the word is mandatory mandatory and i have told you i have told you my friends whenever there is word mandatory or compulsory okay those statements will be incorrect statements so we eliminate this we will be left with a only okay if you have read this law you would say you you would be knowing that at both the national level and the state level they form those bodies okay let us come to the next question let us come to the next question here also if you read this question is on algae based biofuels this question is on algae based biofuel let us read the three statement the first statement says that production of algae based biofuel is possible in c only in c only again only is a radical word an extreme word which is there in our list and since it is in our list we will eliminate this once we eliminate this once we eliminate this once we eliminate this we are left with only b and c and the answer is b and c the answer is b and c okay guys okay answer is b and like answer is 2 and 3 only answer is b okay so here you i'm not saying that you don't need knowledge okay so from you see from your 25 percent probability you got to 50 percent probability and if you have little bit of knowledge also 
यू कैन आंसर सच क्वेश्चन यू कैन आंसर सच क्वेश्चन ओके लेट अस गो टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन लेट अस गो टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन यू सी दिस क्वेश्चन ऑन सस्टेनेबल सुगर इनिशिएटिव ऑन सस्टेनेबल सुगर इनिशिएटिव इफ यू रीड दीज स्टेटमेंट गाइज कैन प्लीज रीड दिस स्टेटमेंट एंड प्लीज कमेंट इन द कमेंट बॉक्स वॉट काइंड ऑफ एक्सट्रीम वर्ड यू कैन फाइंड आउट हेयर वॉट काइंड ऑफ एक्सट्रीम वर्ड यू कैन फाइंड आउट हेयर so if you carefully read in the statement 3 in the statement 3 there is a word called no application of fertilizers no application of fertilizers guys no is an extreme word no is an extreme word which is there in our list so we eliminate this statement we eliminate this statement you see the beauty of upsc questions they have framed the question in such a manner if you know that statement 3 is incorrect which you can easily know through option elimination guys you can easily eliminate option a you can eliminate option c you can eliminate option d and guys you will be left with b so without knowing without knowing what is the statement 1 about without knowing what is statement 2 about without knowing statement 4 about guys you will come to the right answers you will come to the right answer and this is what is the beauty of option elimination if you master this option elimination technique guys with very less effort with very less effort you are going to qualify see the problem what happens guys is that generally these option elimination techniques although although they are not like hidden secrets they are already there many people know it even you must have also watched some other videos also but the problem is that there is no practice test in india which basically applies this option elimination techniques guys the very first time for the very first time in the history of the upsc preparation i have made test series on applying this option elimination techniques every question which i have framed in the test series the 700 series of the seven full length and the seven sectional test which is the most important question this year okay i have used in every question this option elimination techniques and if you are able to apply this option elimination technique inside the test series then obviously what will happen in the exam hall also you will be able to apply them okay just if you know it okay just if you know it you will not be able to apply it okay just by watching we cannot hit like sachin okay just by watching a tv set okay sachin hitting sixes just by watching we cannot hit but when we practice like sachin day in and day out day in and day out we will be able to basically hit like sachin so like this this is a technique this is a technique to hit sixes but if you don't apply them in your day to day preparation in your test series you will not be able to apply them inside the examination hall because success is all about habit success is not a once in a blue moon success is all about habit so you have to make a habit of eliminating options and how can you develop elimination habit you can develop it by solving more number of questions which are based on option elimination techniques my friends i have made those things please comment please comment do you need those kinds of tests or not please comment in the comment box i will give you the link of those tests okay let us go to the next question guys let us go to the next question let us see this question on ramsar convention ramsar convention is a convention on wetlands okay you see this statement statement one it says that under ramsar convention it is mandatory it is mandatory again you see mandatory okay for the government of india to protect and conserve all wetlands you see two extreme words two extreme words not just one mandatory is our extreme word all is in our extreme word so two extreme words this statement is obviously incorrect guys when we remove this once we remove this we will be left with only b and c and the answer is b 2 and 3 only okay you can read it you can solve it You can read it and you can solve it. If you have little bit knowledge also of what is Ramsar Convention are all about, guys, you will be able to solve this question, guys. Okay, let us go to the next question, guys. Next question, you see this. It says that due to some reason, if there is fall in the population of butterflies, butterflies, what would happen? What would happen? You see, the first statement says that pollination of some plants will be adversely affected. Obviously, butterflies are one of the pollinators. along with bees along with bats and pollination guys it's a very important concept in biodiversity okay you can expect questions on pollination even in future also okay so obviously statement 1 is correct let us read the second statement there could be a drastic increase in fungal infection you see here drastic increase drastic increase is a 
basically radical word radical word okay there will be an increase but drastic it's a very radical word to make and we can eliminate statement 2 we can eliminate statement 2 we can eliminate statement 2 we'll be left with c and a the answer is 1 and 3 c only let us go to the next question guys let us go to the next question you see here okay in the context of solving pollution problem what is and are the advantages of bioremediation if you read these statements now you read this statement and you tell me in the comment box so apply this technique and solve this question please i'll giving you okay 30 seconds 30 seconds please read this statement it is a technique for cleaning up the pollution by enhancing the same biodegradation process that occurs in nature okay the second statement any contaminant any contaminant so any is an extreme word okay with heavy metals such as cadmium lead can be readily can be completely treated completely again a radical word any contaminant again a radical word again a radical word completely treatment very big statement to make completely treated very big statement to make obviously it's an extreme word it's a radical word we eliminate that once we eliminate statement two guys we will be left with only a and c and we can easily say that answer is c one and three only one and three only because these can also be produced through genetic engineering okay let us go to the next question guys next question you see smart india hackathon smart india hackathon kindly read these statements and you can find out where is that where is that extreme word situated can you tell me is it in the statement one is it in the statement two is it in the statement three please write in the comment box where is it where is it is this in statement one statement two statement three guys you can find out it is there in statement three it is a program aimed at making all the financial transaction all the financial transaction in our country digital in a decade very extreme statement very extreme statement we can eliminate statement three once we eliminate statement three guys just you see the beauty just you see the beauty it's so beautiful answering this question is so beautiful guys so enjoyable because we do not know this we do not know this but we know only this all is extreme word and we eliminate all and we get the answer you see the beauty of framing these questions how beautifully these questions have been framed thank that examiner thank that examiner you see upsc wants intelligent people to qualify okay upsc do not want dumb people to qualify who are just working hard upsc wants you to work smart and you see here only when you work smart guys then you will be able to answer it without knowing statement one without knowing statement two just knowing this option and technique guys i'm able to solve this answer i'm able to solve this answer guys very easy very easy very easy answer is b let us go to the next question guys let us go to the next question prohibition of the benami transaction act you see again look for those uh, extreme words look for those extreme words okay can you see in statement one no can you see in statement two no can you see in statement three yes any appellate mechanism how can it be possible is it possible is it possible guys and here i would like to tell you that there is one more trick which you can apply which i'll be coming out of the next video which is the factual statements generally in upsc they are wrong guys they are wrong you can see this statement three gone statement three gone statement three gone answer is either one only or two only and if you read this statement you can easily make out that properties held in benami are liable for confiscation by the government obviously this statement has to be correct this statement has to be correct guys so two only is the answer because the crux of the benami transaction act is this only guys let us go to the next question let us go to the next one till now if you if you like this video if if the tricks which i am sharing with you if the question which i am solving if whatever i am sharing with you if you like it please like the hit button please hit the like button okay and please share this video please do let me know that these techniques the way which i am explaining you is helping you or not okay because my objective is your success that's it that is what is my objective is all about okay so please let me know that am i able to help you in the comment box i would like to hear from you let us read this question guys on msp msp again a very important topic this year prelims also you see in the case of all cereals all cereals unlimited 
in any state unlimited in any state just you see full of radical words full of extreme words full of extreme words full of extreme words gone 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 let us read the second statement in the case of the serials and the pulses the msp is fixed in any state at a level which the market will never rise never never ever it is again a radical word eliminate it eliminate it guys eliminate it answer is d answer is d how can it happen like the uh, the market prices will never be beyond msp this cannot happen then what, what what is the logic okay guys what is the logic okay let us go to the next question guys we are nearing end of our video we are nearing end of the video and i am going to share the trap i'm going to share the trap yo don't fall in the trap because upsc will make traps also because they know that you know these tricks because upsc also knows that you know these tricks because there are many mentors in india they have they are they are sharing these tricks because i was the first one to share on kora 2019 the the, the the statement got viral and after that many people came to know about this and they started using it but there is a trap just wait for it in the next one minute i'm going to share it okay you 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 read this question right to city right to city guys right to city gives every occupant right to city means that the state cannot deny you see here you see here guys there is a trap there is a trap guys if you follow this technique blindly if you follow this technique blindly guys then you will say sir every is a extreme word and this statement is incorrect you will say sir statement 3 uses cannot 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 again extreme word so you will say sir statement 2 and statement 3 is incorrect you say statement 2 and statement 3 is incorrect guys but it is not so because only statement 3 is incorrect answer is 1 and 2 why why guys because you see here you have to apply logic because right it says right to city obviously right is for every occupant right is something which is not a privilege guys right is something which is not a privilege but obviously in second then you will say sir then it is not a privilege if it applies to all then why the hell the statement 3 is incorrect guys statement 3 is incorrect because you know no right is an absolute right no right is an absolute right guys you must be knowing this there are reasonable restrictions we cannot say that rights cannot be denied under any circumstances we cannot make such kind of statement guys if you really like this argument if you really like this argument please 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 let me know please hit the like button guys please hit the like button if you really are amazed with this argument if you really like this argument if you really think yes yeah, this is a right argument why we can eliminate option okay it is not like we cannot eliminate option sir we can eliminate option but we have to apply our basic understanding of the theory also which is the theory of rights let us go to the next question guys let us go to the next question again a very simple question on citizenship very simple question guys okay very simple here also you see in statement 3 statement c says once the citizenship is given to a foreigner it cannot be deprived under any circumstances again you see any how can this be possible guys how can this be possible statement 3 gone gone go go gone you see and you see there is only one citizenship a citizenship by birth only can become the head of the state no this is not incorrect this incorrect because it happens in america not when in india so we can see that one only let us come to the next question guys let's come to the next question you see here again you find out the extreme word guys please find out this extreme word with reference to pradhan mantri fasal bima yojana guys any crop you see here any crop under this scheme farmers will have to pay a unit on any crop no guys extreme word guys extreme word guys remove this remove this remove this guys answer is one only let us go to the next question guys let us again a very simple question very simple question on ninth schedule cannot be examined by any court obviously incorrect obviously incorrect okay so we can remove this we can remove this we can remove this okay okay so we can remove this okay let us go to the next question guys let us go to the next question okay very simple again this question is very simple you see here it says that government does not impose any custom duty any gone any gone any gone any gone guys very easy question very easy question guys very easy question okay you see here you read this question it's about earth's evolution you see statement 2 it says no carbon dioxide gone no carbon dioxide gone okay very easy question very easy question now you see this question also on gram nayale act gram nayale act you see what says that okay 
only civil cases only 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 gone gone okay so statement 2 is only correct okay guys let us go to the next question guys okay let us see the cannot you see the word here is cannot look for the word cannot it says that it lives in the wild and cannot be domesticated extreme statement extreme statement extreme statement just you see only i should know this i should not know this also i should not know this also without knowing those first two statement guys i am able to solve this question don't you think this is amazing don't you think this is amazing guys amazing guys because how can a camel cannot be domesticated very extreme statement we all been knowing that camels have been domesticated since ages since ages guys just you see if we eliminate this we get the answer basically one and two only let us go to the now let us talk about the trap guys is very important please please look at this with attention please look at this with attention guys very very important thing i'm going to share right now okay till now what did we talk about till now we talked about that any statement in any question which uses a radical word like all like any like never like ever like last like largest like the first like smallest okay those statements will be incorrect statements but guys this does not apply to one type of questions this does not apply to one type of questions guys please 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 be very attentive this does not apply to science based questions this does not apply for the science based questions because science based question it is about probability and generally probability is always correct always correct in science okay so for science based question this will not apply so you see here here also word any is there but guys that is correct statement so answer is both 1 and 2 so you see that there is a trap okay there is a trap there is a trap here also you see that does not apply to this question here also you see only is used only is used basically two places okay So you see, if you remove this, jet streams occur only in northern hemisphere only. Obviously, this statement is incorrect because only is mentioned. So we can remove this. We can remove this. But what many people, if blindly follow this, they will see only some cyclones have developed an I. So they will again eliminate this. But this is a correct statement. So you need some knowledge also because we know that there is a temperate cyclone. Temperate cyclone do not have I. Guys, guys. So today's video we would like to end here. please 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 let me know if you are liking these videos i'll come out with more such videos more such questions and i can guarantee you if these these are like if this whatever i'm sharing you with you if you learn them if you imbibe them if you practice them okay and if you apply them inside the exam hall sir 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 nothing great than this can happen nothing less than this will happen nothing less than this will happen what will happen guys just just see this just see this just see this guys just see this guys okay nothing less than this is going to happen to you i am showing to you just let me just show you what can happen to you this can happen to you guys this can happen to you you can also score like me if i can do guys you can also do if i can do you can do because we are same okay guys thank you please hit the like button and please let me know if you need more videos and please remember the trap the trap is it does not apply to science question thank you guys bye bye thank you